Um, to solve this problem, ladies and gentlemen, what we want to do is it says to solve for v. And the difficult thing about literal equations is we're not going to get an absolute value of, you know, a value that we can see for our problem. But when we want to solve, just remember, we're trying to solve for v. Our, our idea is to isolate the variable to get it by itself. All right, that's what you want to do is you want to isolate the variable. So I, I was working with a student today, and one of the things that we always help for a lot of students that are just getting started with solving equations is I always kind of ask the question, what is happening to my variable that is preventing it from being by itself? All right, and this is just for kind of some basic operations you can think about. There's a couple operations that are happening to V. It's being multiplied by T, and it's being subtracted by G T squared, right? There's two things that are happening. It's being multiplied and it's being subtracted. And remember, when we solve any equations, we always use the reverse order of operations. So we always undo addition and subtraction first. So I'm going to have to undo subtraction of g times t squared. So how do you undo subtraction? You're going to want to add, because subtraction and adding are inverse properties. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add gt to both sides. And this is where it gets a little confusing because none of these are like terms, right? We just want to like combine them and make and have it make sense. But negative gt plus gt, that's going to equal zero. h plus g times t squared, you can't combine those. So we're just going to leave it as h plus gt squared equals vt, that goes to zero. vt plus zero is just going to be vt. Now, I'm almost, get, I'm almost there, almost there. Now what's happening to the V that's prevented it from being by itself? It's being multiplied by T. Undo multiplication is to divide by, not by P, divide by T, right? Inverse operation, so I divide by T, and I get H plus GT squared divided by T. I can't simplify it at, at it all. None of those are like terms. Equals, V. Now what I'll do is I'll use the reflex property and you can rewrite this. It doesn't matter which way you write it. We always like to write though our variable or our, what we're solving for V equals H plus G T squared divided by T. Now some of you might be asking, well, can't you cancel out the T's? Yes, you can if you separate the fraction, meaning that T divides into H and it divides into the G T squared. All right. So I would just let it leave it like this. If you wanted to separate it though, you'd have to do h divided by t plus gt squared divided by t, and then you can cancel out if you needed to, but it doesn't matter, you're still gonna have a t on the bottom of each. Questions, answer, up top? Um, 24 too. Okay, well I'll get through that in a second. 